All right, got my uh, new Android touchscreen uh, radio slash Blu-ray player, DVD player, um, GPS unit. I'm just going to go over a quick unboxing here. It showed up, uh, actually showed up two days ago. I ordered it from Amazon. It's 229 bucks. This is for the 08 to 2012 Accord. Um, this piece here says car DVD player. So the main reason I want to do this or install this in my vehicle is A, to give it like a more modern look. <clears throat> this is the actual screen here. Well, this is actually pretty good size. I mean, it's 10.1 inches, but I like it. Here, I'll bring it closer to the camera here for you. Pretty nice, pretty sleek design. <clears throat> I guess it has a built-in microphone up here in the corner if it will focus on that. Power button, home, back, volume up and down. Uh, looks like a GPS antenna, a regular car antenna. This would be a regular power wiring harness like a regular radio would have and I'm guessing these are all the other inputs so today I'm gonna install this in my car um, I'm gonna guess it's probably gonna take me an hour hour and a half but that's just a guess I'll let you know obviously how long it actually does take to do it's supposed to be pretty simple um, it's all plug-and-play so it comes with like a wiring harness so here's the actual, if you were to use the screen in another vehicle, here's some of the stuff here. Looks like antenna wires, USB cables. Uh, here's the, the main power wiring harness. Looks like it has an external microphone right here. Oh, if you want to do the hands-free, um, like attach it to your phone. Oh, here's the actual GPS antenna. I guess you can put it on the outside of your like your trunk or on your roof. I've actually seen people put the GPS antenna on their dashboard inside their car and say it still works. So we'll decide I'm gonna do that. This oh I see. The plug on the back of that uh, screen would be this plug here plugs in and it gives you all the auxiliary inputs, subwoofer, uh, for your video for your backup camera. Here's the external USB, so you can plug a flash drive in or plug your cell phone into it. But anyway, that's some of what comes with the screen, kind of like universal. And then, this should be the actual 08 to 12 Honda Accord installation. Yeah, here we go. So here's the wiring harness for the Accord. Um, supposed to all be complete plug and play. So I believe the regular plug that would that's originally plugged into your radio, you're going to unplug that from the car. Your car's wiring harness plugs in here. This is then going to plug into your factory Honda radio. And it's going to jump this power... This is the same power plug that's going to plug in the back of the screen. This looks like one of the plugs to add... Oh, I see how this works. This is going to plug into your factory radio as auxiliary. This is going to plug into the screen. So when you want to hear sound from your videos or DVDs or whatever you're doing, you're just going to turn your factory radio to auxiliary. And I'm going to guess this harness is going to be the harness that jumps your video, I'm sorry, jumps your original screen that's in your car that has, in the 08 to 12 Honda Accords, 
the little screen up top right now has your radio stations, has your clock, and has your climate control. You're going to have to relocate that from the top down to the bottom. So I think that's what this harness is going to do. It's going to allow you to relocate that. <clears throat> Here's uh, the new cover that's going to go over your the factory display like I was just talking about. This looks like a pocket for below the radio. There's a little bag of screws. It's like a little cover piece for the back of the screen. Oh, this is the piece that your screen actually goes into this, and then this is going to cover up the back and go on the back of your dash. Give it a nice complete look to it. So that's why it's going to look factory. More or less when it's done, it almost looks like a factory navigation system and a Honda, but obviously has a lot more options and capabilities of things you can do. Um, oh, and then this is the relocation pocket. So like I said, you're going to take your original display that's up top of the Accord, and you're going to relocate it down into here. Um, uh, this is down below, like right where your shifter's at, and you also have like a little pocket here at factory. But it's just going to relocate it to the bottom, which will be nice. But it should look all nice and almost factory when it's complete. So I'm kind of pumped about all this. And then also, I uh, I purchased this separately. Um, I wanted a backup camera for my car when I do this install. And my car is white, but I didn't want anything. I mean, they make some backup cameras that bolt onto your license plates and they look real big and gaudy looking. And they also got like the really big backup cameras. Um, they have like metal brackets and stuff. But since my car is white, I found this one. It's actually very small. It's got eight LEDs for night vision. Um, I can mount this. You can see all I gotta do is I have to just drill a small hole and this will go up in the hole. All the wires go inside there. You put a like a lock nut and washer on here. Um, or I'm sorry, a lock washer and a nut goes on here. Then I can bolt this. I'm going to put it right between like my two license plate lights on the rear, right above my license plate. I think it's very small. Like I said, my car is already white, so you're hardly going to notice it, hopefully. But I think this was like, I don't know, eight bucks, ten bucks, somewhere in that price range. But. It's got some pretty good reviews and stuff, so hopefully this will turn out great. It also comes with the uh, the cable to, to go from the camera all the way up to your radio. Um, it's got a power and a ground. What you do is you tap into your rear um, reverse light. So as soon as you put your car in reverse, obviously your reverse lights come on. So then it's going to send the signal to the camera. A, it's going to turn on the LED lights for when you back up at night. And also, it's going to send the signal into this wiring harness. This wire then goes to the back of your radio display that I have. Um, and it will override whatever you're doing. Say you're watching a movie, whatever. Listening to music, playing music videos. Um, and that will override and I'll make the kick on the reverse camera for you or your backup camera. So, just wanted to uh, give you an idea of the unboxing here, what we got going on. Like I said, I'm going to do the installation here in just a minute. Um, hopefully this turns out great, guys. Thanks for watching. All right, here's the inside of my cord. Um, and here's that little display that I was talking about that's going to be re relocate the display up from up here. And we're going to lose this little door, and it's going to put that display right here. You're still going to have this pocket below, so I think that'll turn out just fine. Um... What I do like about this setup is that it's mainly just going to be like the screen and it's going to have the Bluetooth and the backup and the GPS and uh, Android CarPlay or Apple CarPlay, all that stuff. Um, but you're still going to have your original radio. Everything is going to be the same, you know, FM, AM, XM radio, um, auxiliary, uh, clock. Um, so how this is all going to tie in, it's just going to tie into the auxiliary in the factory radio. Um, that way you don't lose anything whatsoever. 
Uh, your climate control display, like I said, is going to still be this display, but just the display is going to be moved down to here. Um, so the stereo is still going to sound exactly the same quality as it does originally. Um, and obviously, if you want a better stereo, you can add an amplifier, you can replace your speakers and stuff. But I, I think the fact your stereo sounds fine for me. Um, just want to give you a quick look of what it looks like before I tear this apart and install the radio today. All right, quick update. Um, this is uh, five to ten minutes later. I've got it all taken apart. Um, get ready to uh, get the wiring harness and start doing some plugging in the harnesses. Um, only tools you're going to need, Phillips screwdriver. Uh, I just used a quarter inch ratchet extension with an eight millimeter socket and a, just a plastic pry tool. This center console here, um, you open up your armrest, you start prying here, you pry here, you pry along here, pry along here, pry here. Same thing this side, here, here. This whole center console then lifts right up. You have to unplug your heated seat controls. That's what this plug is here for your heated seat. This plug's for your heated seat. And then this plug was the uh, cigarette lighter. Once that's unplugged, that whole piece just lifts right out. I laid the back seat back here. Um, at that point, I then, um, there was a Phillips screw here, a Phillips screw here, and there was two Phillips screws hidden in that lower pocket up here on the top. You have to bend down and look up at an angle to see the top screws. So there's four Phillips screws right there. At that point, then I removed this wood grain trim piece here Remove this trim piece over here. Same thing. Um, I just pried it, popped it right here, pried it over here, popped it. This was a little bit trickier over here. Um, I opened up the glove box and I started prying right here. Got it to finally pop loose. It was a little hard. It took me a while. Um, then it just pried, pry, pry, pry over here and it all pops out. What that does, it reveals um, there's a screw here and a screw here. And that's all that's holding the whole radio and the large uh, climate control and the air vents all in. Once that screws out, once that screws out, then it just snaps, uh, snaps in here. So you just, I, I pried here with the pry bar, or I'm with this little plastic pry, I pried here. Same thing, I pried over here, I pried here. And that whole, the whole radio, this whole thing comes out as one piece. And from that point... Your display was up here, that little plastic pocket around it. Uh, this screw holds the plastic trim ring, and this screw holds the plastic trim ring, two Phillips screws. That whole trim ring comes out. Then you have, there was a, a 10 millimeter, or I'm sorry, an 8 millimeter bolt here, 8 millimeter bolt here, and there was a Phillips screw there and a Phillips screw there, and that whole digital display comes out then. So, like I said so far, I'm only 5 to 10 minutes into this process, just wanted to give you an update. All right, uh, here's kind of the moment of truth. I've got it wired up, or I mean, all plugged in, uh, kind of pushed back in place. Just want to test it, make sure everything works <clears throat> before I bolt it all back together, put the trim pieces back. Okay, so here's the... There's a glare in the garage here from the overhead lights, but... Um, So here's the, uh, shoot, that's going to work, that's going to go down here below, okay, here's the, So I guess I can just go to the Play Store and download more apps. Bluetooth, auxiliary, settings, weather. It's 73 degrees, sounds right. 442. So everything was plug and play. The only thing I had to wire is uh, was one wire, and that's for the backup camera, on the wiring harness for the new Android screen, 
there was a wire coming off the back. It just said backup. Um, I just have to give it 12 volts. And as soon as you give it 12 volts, automatically whatever you're watching on the screen goes straight to the backup camera. Um, so I tested all that. That backup camera seems to work fine. And I think we're good to go. I'm just finished putting all back together. Hey guys, if you like my video, you can check out other videos right here, just like it. Please hit my subscribe button, and thanks for watching.